I met her at a meetup.com meeting, which she started real friends. She called herself Sandy in the correspondence to keep herself anonymous. I didn't know she was Marie as in Cleopatra Wong. Then in the middle of the discussion, I was saying, I remember when I was a kid, I saw a kind of athletic tall girl riding motorbike, kicking ass. And she said, yeah, that's me. Three. And action. Real Friends is a filmmaking collaborative for people in front, behind the camera and so on to get together to make films, just to have fun. Teachers, clubs, technologies. Uh, sound, sorry. Sound screen, yeah. They can be engineers, shipping executives and all that. And action. I think if you ask children in a kindergarten class how many of you are artists, I think most of them will, most of them will put up their hands. So I think there's this fantasy in many working adults to be an actor or a filmmaker of sorts, to tell stories, to tell fantasies. And Real Friends was able to be that place where these people with unfulfilled dreams come to make films. Yeah. In the past, I have always been acting. I have never been behind the camera. And it was always a dream, you know, to direct a film of my own, action thriller, kung fu film, because that, that is my passion. Once I grab, okay, so, you know, what the coffee in, push up. Just one stop only. Uh, after Bobby passed away, it is my dream to do the reboot of Cleopatra Wong. But not knowing anything that goes on behind the camera, I cannot jolly well, you know, do it. So I have to learn the trade somehow. I have a, a group, uh, a crew, who is really awesome. They taught me everything I need to know, from camera work, to editing, to lighting and all that. So it is actually a huge learning process for me. She has made all this possible. We were nothing and she brought together Directors, editors, photographers, she has brought a complete group together without nothing. So she is our true mother hand. I think anybody that knows Marie knows of her as a very strong will, determined woman. If she says she's going to do something, she'll do it. And if she encounters any obstacles, she will steamroll through it. So it depends on which side of the steamroller you are in. You know, if, if you are on her side, oh, it's fun. Do you know something, something really bad, like, like a death rat? Yeah. Many exciting things. I'm here to promote my first feature film, Certified Date. It is a drama. At the same time, I'm also uh, trying to pitch, you know, my three coming uh, projects. Certified date is about a middle-aged man that's very insecure about having a very young wife and he took an untested drug to keep up with the vitality of being such a an husband and the result is that he ended up as a walking dead. And I thought, my God, she's back. Cleo is back. But this time as a producer and a director, this time she's on the other side of the camera. There she was, just calling the shots. It is said that when you write a script, even if it is about a fish, it's actually about you. So I think in the case of Certified there is no difference. I think Marie is in a way writing about her, her ill health. Marie had three strokes, I think. 
and after each stroke, I can see that she gotten weaker. There's this need to live life to the fullest every day. And that's also kind of Marie, very Marie. During screening, I was amazed. People dressing up in tuxedo and all that for the premiere. I feel so proud and I'm standing on, in front of the stage and everybody was just waiting to watch this newly minted film. Yeah, I was happy.